You know, I'm really happy I came across this article. So this article comes from mentalflaws.com. How do rocks, metal, and other foreign material get into our food? You know what? That is a great question. I sure would like to know that myself. Because you all know I've done some videos about foreign art that get into these foods. It only make no kind of sense. So, St. Joe's has been on a bit of a recall spree lately. What's in, in the almond cookie? Uh, and broccoli, excuse me. The uh, cheddar soup. Better in the Ultra grain crackers, cabinet, hop on, unclear milk. To be clear, these items were put from the shelves in an abundance of cause over possible contamination. It's not as though the score of the customer who the customer was suffering from major dental distress after chopping down on a rock or metal. A tre and Trader Joe's isn't the only company to find itself on the business end of the recall more than once in a year. Well, we know that a lot, a lot of these food brand companies are being on the recall. Food get recalled every day. So, what point are you trying to make by saying that? Okay, but let's go on. But when you hear about food recall, there, there's a good chance you assume it involves bacteria. The most frequent, well, let's be, let, well, let's be honest. Food get called by bacteria, uh, incorrect label, uh, uh, well, well, E. coli is bacteria, so, but they also get called back from incorrect label, or they found, I don't know what they find in food other than for an object. It just all kind of reasons that they found uh, food get the call back, and it just and a lot of them are nasty. But anyway, the most frequent uh, we call food of uh, leaf, uh, leaf green to various meat tip uh, uh, typical play host and germs like E. coli, did they go down? Mentioned that earlier, and salmonella. The recent slate of issues with Trader Joe Adams exclusive for frozen strawberry linked to hepatitis A outbreak in March remind us that there's a pretty wide spectrum of unsandwiched ingredients that might end up in your meal. And there are plenty of ways that can end up there. Manufacturing and retail are always welcome about the details. But sometimes we do get close. When Kraft Hensley recalled more than 8,000 cases of single service cheese slice this month, for example, the company explained that a temporary issue developed on one of the weapon machines make it possible that a thin strip of individual film may remain in slice after the weapon has been removed. And I did a video that if, uh, most of y'all saw. So I did a uh, uh, you too short on that. So, so let me continue. So okay, y'all probably got that some uh, my screen just went all crazy for a moment. So where was I? Uh, machinery and other equipment are often to blame for foreign material in the food. Plastic pieces from the fright of fire, cover or belt, which share from the product powder, metal shaving or wiring from the machine are all common. The associate press explain. So a watt stick and bud that can make it from the field 
to the factory on and on at least one occasion. Golf ball have also made it from the field to the factory. In 2017, McCain flew U.S. Uh, U.S. industry because some frozen hash brown over field they contain parts of larger golf balls in the advertising harvest for potatoes. Okay, that is, okay that's messed up. In short, there have been steps to involve in making food on a massive scale of getting it all away to your kitchen and it's hard to ensure that every single item is contaminated free. Even the FAA admit that it's economy in practice to grow harvest or process raw products that are totally free of non-hazardous and natural occurrence are unavoidable defect. That whole FDA handbook with specific on permissible food defect levels. Pressure it all your own risk. You might wish you would never have known exactly how much water field is allowed in your center. Okay. So FDA, oh, okay. So the FDA know about this too. So basically, y'all, they know uh, about when they make food sometimes, like they, they machine it with. But, but I'm going to say this. Why don't you just take, well, per se, why don't you just find time to deal with the problem that could be going on with your machine? Can't you do that? I mean, seriously. Ain't that hard to do. Why don't you just take time to see what's going on with your machine that you use to make these food and check see if that says say anything, see if the problem is going there. Ain't no different than them out to evaluate, see what's going on with your machine. I'm sorry, but I don't see no excuse why all these foreign out there getting the food. I'm sorry. I, I don't. I don't. I don't see no excuse about it at all. <sighs> but y'all let me know what y'all think about this uh, article in the comment section. I mean, I understand what they're saying in the article, but at the same time, what they're saying in the article don't make no sense because there's no excuse why you should take time out to see what's happening with your machinery equipment and make sure that stuff like this don't happen. Just, just, take, just make some time out and check out what's going on with your machinery. That seems that seem like that's all y'all got to do. I mean, y'all don't. I mean, y'all don't make no sense. Why y'all make simple stuff hard? <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think about this offer. I mean, think about this video in the comment section, and I'll see y'all next time. These people, they really don't make no sense sometimes. They don't. I'm out.